Marland in West Virginia is home to about a thousand residents and one famous cook-off, the Roadkill Cook-Off. For more than 25 years, chefs and meat lovers have been flocking to the town to cook up or eat up black bear, possum, elk, snapping turtle, and even reptiles. The name of our team is uh, you hit them, we spit them, like on a spit to cook something. It's called Hillbilly Mardi Gras Alligator and Turtle Gumbo over Country Creamy Grits or Creamy Country Grits. We are uh, making a predator prey uh, chili with bear meat and venison, which is deer meat. We come every year. Um, it's just a, it's a neat place to try a new kind of food. I mean, you don't get alligator every day. You don't get bear every day. I mean, it's just, it's just fun. But even the Roadkill Cook-Off's main cheerleader and organizer still has concerns about food safety and how the roadkill is handled. Unless it's taken away like immediately within minutes after it's killed, if not, the, the meat gets poisoned because the, 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 the sedatives go through the body. So that's whenever people hunt deer, first thing to do is, is clean them out because that's what poisons the deer. So once they're hit along the road, five minutes later, they're probably no good. Roadkill aficionados point out that there are ways to ensure the meat is safe to eat. And they argue since the animals are dead, it's wasteful not to serve them up as food. Half of U.S. states have laws that allow people to pick up and cook animals hit and killed by vehicles. We're in West Virginia. Unfortunately, we can't control the wildlife and keep it from getting hurt when we drive on the, on the roads. But, um, you know, things like that do happen every day. And, uh, and we try to make use of what we have. But not all events at the festival are so controversial. Downtown Marlinton is blocked off for the day, and tourists can wander the main streets where vendors sell locally handcrafted items, and an old-timey country fair is in full swing. The Autumn Harvest Festival is one of those nice festivals where we get to celebrate the arts and crafts of our community and the local organizations who need this kind of a venue to raise funds for their activities that they have during the year. And if it helps celebrate the rustic and sometimes rugged culture of West Virginia, it's a tradition the locals plan to continue. For Evgeny Baranov in Marlington, West Virginia, I'm Anna Rice, VOA News.